So it is 6.45 in the morning. Can I please do an iced Americano with the, um, the toddy? Yeah, I don't know why I said dope you. Can you put it in this cup? Are you able to do that? I have um, heavy whipping cream in here because I know you guys have half and half. Coffee cubes and I'll do sugar-free vanilla and sugar-free caramel. Do you have sugar-free caramel sauce? Yeah, I'll do a pump of that. Thank you. There you go. Thank you so much. No change. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Brittany Jade here and today is Wednesday so you know what that means. I'm going to be taking you guys all along with me today and show you everything that I'm going to be eating today. As you saw, I already picked up my coffee and I am waiting on my oats to get finished right now. And that's gonna be my breakfast this morning and I will just continue to take you guys through everything that I'm eating. If y'all enjoy these types of videos, please make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and make sure that you hit the little bell notification next to the subscribe button so that you don't miss any upcoming videos for me. I do these what I eat in a day videos every single Wednesday or some sort of fitness or health related videos here on Wednesdays. So you don't wanna miss any more upcoming videos for me. Normally I know that I like to stick with lower carb options all throughout the day, but my body was really craving some oats this morning, so I definitely gave in to what I was craving, and I like to stress that. It is not always about following such a strict diet that you're like restricting yourself from the food groups that you want. There's nothing wrong with indulging every once in a while, so don't feel bad about having the oatmeal or having a slice of pizza or having a few fries with a burger or something like that. Whatever you wanna do or whatever you wanna feed yourself, make sure that you're making smart choices, you're fitting it into the rest of your daily diet and you're not overdoing it. I think that that is the most important thing, but you definitely don't wanna restrict yourself because that is going to lead you to a binge and how do I know this because I have plenty of binges and now I have a crying baby so I'm gonna go and help him okay you guys so to start off today's recipe you're going to need some chicken breast and some taco seasoning you do want to be wary of whatever taco seasoning you get because it does tend to have a higher carbohydrate count so you just want to be mindful of that there is a way that you can make your own and I will have that listed down in the description box for you guys along with all of the measurements of the seasonings that I'm pulling out you're going to need some sea salt some pepper some garlic powder onion powder and paprika for this as well as the taco seasoning that I showed you just a second ago and you're going to want to generously sprinkle all of this I typically don't measure seasonings but I will have a full recipe linked down below in the description box for you guys who aren't comfortable with just seasoning until your heart desires I really love cooking up my chicken breast on my cast iron skillet, but feel free to use whatever pan you have. You're just going to be sauteing your chicken with some olive oil or any oil of your choice. And you're going to want to cook your chicken all the way through. I cook it for about two to three minutes on each side and then before it's done I pour a little bit of water in and I cover it for the last couple of minutes and I turn the heat down and this is how I really secure those juices in before I pull it off of the cookware. I'm going to have all of my veggies all cut up and I am also going to be using my Mission Carb balanced tortillas for myself and the regular tortillas for my husband and then I'm just going to slice up my chicken breast here and cut them into nice bite-sized chunks feel free to cut these however big you want or also shred them if you like with a fork you can have some nice shredded chicken as well I just prefer to have a nice bite-sized portion in my chicken tacos personally
I'm gonna be cutting the carbs here by making street style tacos, which is basically just a really smaller version of a regular taco on a smaller tortilla. And I'm going to be taking away a lot of that. And don't worry, I didn't waste the rest of the tortilla. I turned them into grilled cheese triangles for my daughter, but I am going to be returning the tortillas here to the stone cookware just to fry them up a little bit get them a little warm and crispy and then I'm going to plate everything up and go ahead and put down my lettuce and I've used assorted bell peppers red onion and then I'm going to plate it with the chicken top it with a little bit of cheese and you can do salsa and sour cream if you like and then for a side dish with this meal I gave my husband some white rice and black beans and I just had a little bit of the beans and this was so good you guys Hey guys, all right, so it is much later in the day and I am about to devour this yummy salad. And it is a cob salad and all I did to make this was I hard boiled some eggs and then I cooked the bacon up into my oven, which I will show you guys how I did all of that. I just cut up all of my veggies. So there is some red onion, some celery, some tomato, and some avocado here, and I just love it. I picked this avocado at like the best time. It is so nice when you just get an avocado like at its perfect ripeness. I absolutely just love it, just love it so much. I'm actually just going to have this salad with my Ken's blue cheese dressing, and I've talked about this dressing in other What I Eat In A Day videos. You guys need to try this. This is literally the best, and it's also pretty low in carbs. Um, one gram of carb for two tablespoons, which is pretty good. I'm just gonna go ahead and munch on this all right, you guys, that's gonna go ahead and wrap up everything that I ate today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I hope that y'all would consider hitting that subscribe button and make sure that you hit the little red bell next to the subscribe button so that you don't miss any upcoming videos from me. Again, I do these What I Eat Wednesday videos every single Wednesday here on my channel so you do not wanna miss out. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Wow, these lashes are on fleek.